Martin Fender? Sure, I remember him. A lot of people who ran the Austin music scene back then remember him, I'm sure. I mean, he wasn't that hard to forget. Really flashy, obsessed with style. The kind of 30s, 40s retro thing which you probably got from watching old movies. Kind of a loudmouth, to be honest. Not the most modest guy in town. They were talking a town filled with musicians here. In fact, that car of his and all, he really stuck out. Which you wouldn't think was the best idea for a guy trying to chase down bad guys. Eh. Who knows how much of that is true? I mean, there was that cop, friend of his, maybe he didn't get the credit he deserved, I don't know. At the time, it was all Martin Fender, the guy who cracked the case of the rock critic murders. I'll tell you where he got lucky, though. And that was by hooking up with Jesse Subway. Jesse's got talent to burn, and when he was finished, he had quite a book. I even tried to help him sell it and went up to New York. He even took a meeting at the Flatiron Building, speaking in retro style. And eventually, although not because of me, Jesse did wind up selling the book. Check it out, it's a pretty good yarn.